Now a Georgia family demanding answers in the fatal shooting of a loved one by a Kingsland police officer. A cross now sits near the spot where this man, where people say they last saw this man, Tony Green, a 33-year-old father of two. His family and friends contend his life was taken needlessly. As the Georgia Bureau of Investigation works to piece together what led to the deadly shooting, News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris is in Kingsland, where a community meeting will be held this evening. Janice? And the community family and friends just finished a prayer. It's still happening right now, but this community is very upset and very saddened by the shooting of Tony Green. They say that they want justice. They want a thorough investigation, and they're going to continue to ask questions. They're now waiting to hear back from the GBI on their investigation, but they are prayerful and hopeful that they will get real answers. 33-year-old Tony Green was shot and killed by a Kingsland police officer late Wednesday night. And everybody know he was a fun guy. And he, he, he always joked around with everybody. He never put a hand on what. But we just won't ask us to why he did it. Right now, the chief of police at Kingsland is not talking, but I put in an open records request to find out if Tony Green had any interaction with the police officer that people say shot him. According to Georgia Bureau of Investigation, a Kingsland police officer was following Tony Green, who had a passenger with him around 1042 Wednesday night. When Green stopped his car at East Lily and North East Streets, both he and the passenger got out and ran. The officer chased Green, caught up with him, and according to GBI, a brief altercation occurred. That's when the officer shot Green multiple times. Each Kingsland police officer wears a body cam. Green's family wants to see the footage. And we want to see pictures, if they got pictures or something that they can show us what's going on, because we just want answers. Relatives say Green was a father of two boys. They say they don't know how his children will live without him. And they're still talking right now about what they would like. They are hoping for a thorough investigation. They say that this is not over. They're going to continue to ask questions and continue to support the family. The story will continue tonight with Corley Pill at 10 and 11. Live in Kingsland, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.